So guys, right here we're in Havana and I have to tell you that it's been a while without tourists and it feels, it feels sad, that's the truth. So today I'm going to show you how is Havana doing without any tourists, what the people normally do right here. And I'm going to try to shoot as much as I can because it's going to rain. I don't know if you can see the weather, but it's not the best today. So actually I was right here yesterday and I was trying to shoot the same video for you guys but it started raining and I had to, to leave. Hello guys and we're finally right here in Havana and I have to say that it's pretty empty. I mean there's nobody here, only a few workers that I'm going out from, from the jobs. <laughs> Guys, as you can see, Havana is completely empty. I mean, we're missing you, so if you were planning to come, let me know in this comments below. Now, there are too many people talking about that Havana is going to be open in, in November. I mean, Cuba is going to be open in November. I'm not sure about that. Actually, for me, that's kind of rumor. So, I need to wait until they happen. Once they happen, I'm gonna let you know. Guys. So far, what we can do, we can walk around, we can see local people walking their, I don't know, hours in this beautiful area a lot. This place over here used to be one of my favorite. Right now it's completely empty. I think the people around are gonna think that I'm kind of a tourist because so far, I'm the only one who's walking around with a camera. It's not the same, guys. It's not the same. What I'm about to share with you right now is one of the most famous places right here in Havana. Now I'm talking about the Catrillo. The Catrillo used to be one of the most famous and visited places right here in El Havana. Right now it's completely closed, so what we can do, we can walk around, see the architecture, and that's it. It's raining. It sucks. But it's beautiful. What's up, buddy? Yeah, beautiful. Huh? I know. I miss it too. How long is it gonna take this? Yeah, I think the same. So we're talking about that the cavity is almost ending. Hopefully. No? Okay. I know. We're gonna try. Yeah. So he's saying that. Okay, there he I know I look at that crazy, but I'm super, super happy, guys, because if Havana opens again, this square is going to be completely, completely crowded again. And that's fantastic. I miss this. I miss working. I miss telling the people what was going on right here. I miss telling the people what was going on in that center over there. This is Havana, and it has to be exactly the same that it used to be. I miss it so much having you right here, guys. And let me know in the comments below what do you think of the Havana so far. Hmm. No. They're beautiful. So far, there's nothing interesting right here. <laughs> I would say local people walking around and that's it 
Look at this. It's completely empty. It's not the same without you guys. So the good news is that we don't have any curfew anymore. I mean, so far since the COVID start and Havana was, you know, kind of uh, getting worse every single day, we had a curfew. We couldn't go out uh, home until 7 p.m. <laughs> what I was saying is that we, we don't have any more the curfew and Kiva. Uh, so far, I think it was 15 days with the curfew and it was kind of completely uh, strange for the two people because we couldn't go out and we had that time until 7 p.m. 7 p.m. used to be the top of the deadline. So all the things that we were trying to do, you had to do it time, uh, until that time. Right now we can move out and that's why I'm right here and it feels uh, kind of sad walking around without any tourists, nobody asking me how is Cuba, how is Havana, nobody taking photos, nobody asking anything. Do you think Havana is going to be the same or Cuba in general? I don't think so. I think it's going to be the same but it's going to take a while. I mean once you start traveling or visiting Cuba, like I said there are too many people who are using the face masks, you know taking the rules. Uh, being aware or thinking who is infected or not and those stuff can be affecting Cuba. Look at this guys. This place right here is the Aurelis coffee. This is one of the best places if you want to try the Cuban coffee once you land here you have to come here. Uh, the coffee is going to be very strong so it's not going to have a half water and a half coffee. When I was working as a steer guy this place used to be one of my favorite, right? So take note, we have because you gotta go here. Mm -hmm. 